Hey guys, Zivloid here, back again with another haul video, and today this one's from a few places, uh, Cooper's Cave, FYE, and um, uh, there's another, it's just a hobby shop, but uh, yeah, we're going to be having a look at some stuff I've been getting the past couple of weeks. Figured this would be the best time to do it, because i got a lot of in-packaged stuff. It's been a while since I've done a haul video. Now, I have gotten a lot of stuff off of eBay and all that type of jet, all that type of stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's to be expected with today's skyrocketing prices. But, obviously, you guys know I've been buying the Marvel Legends and all that stuff, so uh, I don't need to go over that. But, other stuff I will go over if I never get around to doing it during, like, a collection video or reviews or what have you. So, uh, the first place we're going to talk about is FYE. I've been buying a lot of these Funko Pops, you know, I have a thing for these now, you bastards. And uh, I bought Darth Vader and a uh, Robocop. So at least I'm buying cool ones. And then um, I've also got uh, Ultron and Boba Fett. And Deadpool will be up after this video. It's a little lazy this week and I didn't edit it. So I didn't have it to uh, upload to this morning. So it's not up yet. But it will be. It will be. And then, um, from Cooper's Cave, I did get a lot of Spawn stuff, obviously, that's what all this is from. And then, uh, I did get some stuff last week. I got four figures last week. I got the, uh, White Pilot Spawn, Ninja Spawn, the first one, and, uh, Curse of the Spawn 2 from Series 13. Um, all those are in the cabinet, but I'm gonna try and show you guys those if I have some time on this video. If not, you'll see them in a collection update. But I also got... Spawn 1, 1, not 2, not 3, not even 4 or 5, 1, although I have those 3, <laughs> and, uh, and if you don't believe me, there it is, finally got a complete one, it's probably one of the best figures ever made for the vintage stuff, so. Yeah, what are you going to do? So moving on to the haul. The rest of the stuff from Cooper's Cave. I got this spawn here, exoskeleton spawn. I did get a couple of these from Jason, but they weren't complete, to say the least. So I do have this one here. Mint. Minty mint mint-ish. It's got tape on it. It was $10. So I figured I'd pick them up because I needed the claws. I need the claws. And I needed a foot. But this is different colors from the one I have, so I might just trade it off. Uh, the rest of the other one I have. And I got Sansker, the black variant. Awesome black variant. It's really, really cool. Does this one come with a club? I don't see a club. Huh. It's usually packed right up. Oh, there it is. Right there. Sansker, he was ten bucks too. That's I think I paid like six for my first one, and then I got my other one from Count. So I think I have all the Sanskers if I'm correct. I don't know if I'm missing any more or what. If there's like a lighter. It might be a brown one. But I got the green one, and I got the, the human head. And this is the black version. Really cool. Finally got this dude, Saber. I did not have a Saber. I think this is the regular version. That, or it's the one with some little gold uh, touch-ups on it. But he's really cool. I like him. This would go great with Renegade, you know, if he was freaking complete. But... Um, Whatever. You can't have your cake and eat it too, right? <laughs> Going over here... Actually, the spawn stuff was buy one, get one free. Buy two, get one free. And uh, we actually had to tell them that at the counter, but it's all good. Got our discount. And I bought two Threshers. Now, 
One of them's a little bit yellowed. I don't know if that's in terms of the bubble or uh, that might be this one. This one looks a little yellowed. So that one might be the one getting cracked open. Let me check this one. Yeah. Alrighty, so this one is going to my buddy T-Biz out in Texas. Uh, this one is not yellowed. This one is. So I will be opening this one. So I want him to get the better uh, the two cards because that is pretty darn yellowed compared to the other one. Which is weird because it was sitting in a back room. Oh yeah, and it's cracked. So <laughs> those were five bucks a piece, but we got them for free. Pretty cool. So got the Thrasher from uh, Total Chaos. What the heck else was in this set? There's the Thresher. There's Al Simmons. I got him. I got the Dragon Blade. Are you kidding me? The Conqueror wasn't. I got Gore. Damn! I need that hoof. <laughs> I got almost all of these guys. That's pretty sweet. I actually got the variant of Al, but I think my dad might have the regular one. I don't remember. I almost have all those. But, uh, moving on. I also got this. Now, I'm not used to buying figures like this in these plastic canisters or whatever, but this is pretty sweet Venom. I'm not gonna lie. That's bitchin'. I like this. I like this Venom a lot. And, um, I know it's just a repaint of Sabretooth and blah, 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 but it's not bad. I've seen worse. <laughs> Trust me. Um, the paint's not crispy clean on this, so it might have been played with or something. That or it's just a little dirty. It needs to be cleaned up, but you know what? That doesn't matter. His eyes are crisp. The other stuff is probably going to be shoddy, so I'm fine with that. So can't wait to bust him out of that and figure out how to bust him out of that. he wants out and then this was the cream de la crop for today you can see that I don't know maybe if I move spawn one off the top here might get a little light coming through it mm, you really don't let me set him over here and tilt this back a bit there you go. It's the Dark Ages Spawn uh, cover art figure from uh, Spawn Classic Comic Covers. It's the uh, medieval, it's the Dark Ages Spawn there on his horse. Holding his battle axe up in the air. Really freaking huge, huge figure. Really, really cool though. Um, I got that for a whopping 25 bucks. That was a good deal right there. That was the that was the one to rule them all. I don't know. This store has really, really good prices, though. On uh, no, their spawn stuff. Their loose stuff's pretty good, too. Most of it's under 10 bucks. So, yeah. And some of it even has their accessories. I know they had that, what was it, the Iceman... The big, cool-looking Age of Apocalypse Iceman with all the icicles and crap coming off him. And then they had the, um, oh, shoot, what was it? Um, the uh, Kenner Predator, the Berserker Predator with some of his spears and his mask. So that was pretty sweet. I might have to get those one of these days. But now I'm going to get up, and you can see some of my Funko Pops over there. Let's see if I can show you my other spawns that I've got from there. Oh, that's heavy metal. Oh, might as well talk about these. The Witchblade animated style figures. I got these from that hobby shop. I'm sorry, I can't remember what it is. But if you Google it, like hobby shops in New York, you'll, you'll be able to find it. 
And then here's the white pilot spawn with a bunch of glare. Uh, I guess I'll do it this way. Pilot spawn, ninja spawn, should be right around here. There he is, he's right there. Right next to him. I was missing the shuriken, so I got that one for free. And then uh, in the back, you can see him with all the bats flying off him. There you go. There's Curse of the Spawn 2. And then, uh, yeah, that's that's it. That is the Motherload haul for the past few weeks from FYE Cooper's Cave and the Hobby Shop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Stay tuned for reviews on this stuff. Venom might be coming really soon, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys. I'll catch you later. It's kind of fun being a plastic whore. Oh, I said that on camera.